Hello there everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with a stock swoosh and I'm going to go over today's plays. One was a win, one was a loss. And I'm also going to talk about using stops because that is very important when you're trading. If you'd like more information, you can email me at melissa at the stock swoosh.com or call me at 929-3200-GAP and follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and Skype. So overall, you know, when I get up in the morning, I'm looking for the gap that I like the best. There could be a couple of gaps, there could be a lot of gaps, there could be only one. It depends. So today there was a few. Uh, this E-Trade worked initially. I forget what I was up in it, like, I don't know, 20 cents, something like that. But then it flipped, okay? It held the stop all morning. I'm just gonna go this here. The stop was 59.20, okay? So this, we had the stop at 59.20 and we got taken out over 59.20. I wanna point out where the stop went. Tippy, 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 tippy top, like 59.80. So the stop moved 60 cents, not a small move, a big move over where we, I mean, the, the stock moved over the stop 60 cents plus where we had the stop. So it, 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 and it could have gone even further, okay? It could have gone all the way up to 60, could have even gone, could have gone a dollar plus over. Now, what's my point? My point is that a stop protects you. We have a fixed amount that you choose that you risk and a fixed amount that you lose in the trade if it fails. So this first trade failed, I did not retake it. If you did retake it, the second trade worked, okay? We shorted this and this was a short then, a closed week today. But the, my point is that stops help you, protect you from unknown losses that could really mount up to be a lot. Now here is the one that worked. <laughs> okay, so that was the one loss. This is the one win. This is HPE. And this stop held all day. So the stop was 1610, an amazing placement of the stop. And how then it worked all day. I really know what I'm doing with numbers. I'm very good at that. But long and short of it is that we got in this early. It didn't break till late. Sometimes that happens. What are you going to do? So it did work. It held the stop all day. And it's important why because if we did not have a stop in the other one then we might not have had a possible profitable day with one winner one loser because you could, it could have been a wash or it could have been um a loser it might not have been up but because we had the stop in it was a profitable day because even though this came down and they're going to say well this came all the way down it's true, it did come all the way down. It came all the way down and we actually could have got the trade break even with profit here I mean, if this E-Trade had held it all day. But that's unusual. You know, it's unusual. The point is that this theoretically, once it lifted over the high and this big, fat, massive green bar lay here, could have gone crazy. So that one lost, this one worked. And here's what it amounted to. So loss in E-Trade 2100, HPE 3570, total 1470. So it was a... 1470 in profit one profit on the day of 1470 with one loser one winner and it's because of the stop in e-trade and that's the point i'm trying to make stops help you they protect you stops are important because they're like the insurance they protect you if the trade fails you only lose what you risk and no more if you don't use stops you essentially have unlimited risk which makes no sense that doesn't make sense for anyone when i trade i'm taking calculating risk based on the gap rating use stops to help you when you trade so you keep the money you make in the good trades. Today, the stop in HPE, it really, really was perfect. If I do say so myself, it held all day, okay? So I'm very good with where to put the numbers in stops and the targets too, and knowing the gap. But the one thing is that the preparation in the morning helps you determine the quality of the gap, the direction you wanna go, where to put the stop, where to get out of the trade, where's the target. I teach a class, I teach all of this in the class. It's this weekend, August 25th and 26th, nine to five. Class tuition is $54.99 US dollars. The class is online. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. Email me if you wanna sign up at melissa at the stockswoosh.com. Also doing the trends course on Monday the 27th, okay, 11 to five. Cost of the class is $59.99. Class is online again. You know, it's online, so you can sign up. You save $500 by doing these both. I'm telling you that trading is something that you absolutely can learn. I mean, these numbers, I'm getting them off the chart. I, You can learn this. You learn it in my class, and it's a skill. It's a skill set. You do it, do it, do it, and that's how you get good at it. That's how I can find these numbers so quickly and so easily uh, to help us take the trades and stay in the trades. But think about what I said today. 
It is so important to use stops. It's calculated risk when you trade. You can't have unlimited risk, and that's how you're going to make money. You have to think about that because not every trade is going to work. So you have to learn how to use stops and where to put them. Have a great night, everyone.